Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man, and this is 840 G1 laptop by HP. This laptop is not holding charge, or in other words, it's not charging. So the first thing in this case we would actually look at is the battery. Yes, sometimes the charger itself doesn't work, but we know that the computer works when it's plugged in, it's just that the battery is not holding charge. Another thing we might be able to consider as a problem is the connection where the battery is battery charger is connected and that would be right here. By the way, if you have 840 G2 or G3, it will be similar to this or if you have an HP laptop that looks similar to this, it will be the same procedure to check, troubleshoot or replace the battery. So let's have a look what's on the other side. Oh boy, I can already see the problem. This battery looks really bad, looks swollen up, and I'll show you that in a second. The reason I didn't get a chance to show you how to remove the lid is because the lid literally popped off because it was raised like this, because the battery itself is swollen. That is going to be interesting to look at, unbelievable. Anyways, if you have it inserted like this, just press this to unlock and slide the lid off like that. Very simple. Okay, here's our battery, and it's one of these slim ones. This is typical with the newer type of laptops. Let's go ahead and unlock it. I'm just gonna push this little unlock tab like that. Once you see red, it's unlocked, and there's one more here. We're going to push it. Oh, wow. This is really stuck, you see that? You see the little, the bulging? Oh man, let me get a screwdriver for this part. See if I can unlock this. There it is, wow. That popped open, usually you would pull on this. That is, that's pretty crazy. Oh my, oh my, oh my God, look. It actually cracked. It's cracked and it's swollen. Well, this is why it's not charging. This is crazy, look at that. Look at that, let me show you a brand new one. This is a replacement battery, look at that. Wow, let me, let me just move this aside just for a second. Look at that. Wow. That's a pretty gnarly damage right there. The thickness on it is just, it's swole up. By the way, if you need a replacement of this, I placed a link in the description if you want to check it out. This is the replacement for it. Wow. Look at that. Look at the crack on it. Look at that. It cracked. By the way, dispose of these very careful because these are lithium ion batteries and if you puncture them or dispose of them improperly, it can burst and it can also, you know, there's chemicals in there, so dispose of them properly. All right, let's put in the new one. So it's very simple to install the new one. Just make sure you go in like this first. So there's a little notch there for you to go slide underneath and then just let it sit down and just push it down a little bit. You can see that this part already locked by itself and then all you gotta do is just lock this one, which makes a huge difference. Everything's okay. And then I'm going to put the lid back on. It's just kind of in reverse order. So I'm gonna push it in, lock it, and that's how it is. By the way, if you, yeah, I just wanted to show you how to remove the lid as well. There it is. And you just pop it off like that. Push it down, lock it. And there you have it, guys. Battery's been replaced and we are good to go. Again, there's a link in the description if you're looking for a replacement battery, they're really cheap. And uh, thank you so much for watching, share this with your friends, and if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Have a good day, bye-bye.